Today we're having lunch with Isla. She flew back from Atlanta. Our son Sean is working on the movie Godzilla and uh, Isla is hanging out there with him. But she came back to do some stuff for her license. And we're having, uh, having some breakfast with her at this place. Breakfast like that or like that, but no, I got this. <laughs> you can have this. Yeah, and this is the diet yeah. version. <laughs> That's useless breakfast. This is what I get: water and coffee. Yeah. I think it's Bink, and it's a Super Mario sculpture. These guys leave sculptures all over town. See the view? Check out the view. I did check it out. Here's where we went to uh, have lunch. driving the 2017 Fiat Abarth. What is your favorite aspect of this car? The color. You like the color? I love it. It's cute. It's well designed. Mm -hmm. It's tiny. It could pretty much fit in your pocket. I'd make it a little bigger. <laughs> apples, a bunch of carrots, I don't know how many, and then like a quarter of a beet. How cool is that? Alright, 
Here's to your health. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. In the boo. All right, I have had this 2017 Fiat Abarth, Abarth. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. I don't really care. The car is freaking fast. Now, part of the reason that it's fast is that it's, although it may not sound like much, it's 160 horsepower, but the car only weighs 2,500 pounds. It's a 1.4 liter 16 valve turbo. This one, a five speed, although in LA traffic, you definitely would want the automatic. It gets an average of 30 miles per gallon, and this one comes in Celeste Blue, the, the one I have right now. Although, if it was up to me, it'd be black on black on black all the way. Now, for some of you, you may know a bit of my background. You know that uh, back in 2006, 2007, through about 2009, I had a shop in Torrance, an 11,000 square foot shop at a, uh, just outside of a mini dealership where we built minis. Now, we built all kinds of minis. We did things just simply like wrapping graphics on it all the way up to approximately 700 horsepower Mini Cooper. Now, these were the new minis. These were not the, the classic ones, although we did a few of those. I created designs uh, for the dealership for a lot of clients. Over that period of time, we built about 60 or 70 minis. Some in various stages, some, uh, you know, just a, a few things added to them, and some of them full-blown craziness. We even built a drag car, and that was 700 horsepower, something like that. It was pulling nine-second times at the drag strip. I might be a little rough on those numbers. But those of you that know that I, I worked on those cars and we had a team that, that built those cars, it was a pretty amazing experience. And then along came this Fiat and uh, uh, a lot of people migrated from the Mini to the Fiat. And then companies started doing the same thing to the Fiats. Could you imagine 500 horsepower in this tiny little car? I knew that you could. Right out of the box, this car is a sweet little ride. Of course, it's a lot faster when it's just me driving and I don't have a bunch of passengers. Tomorrow, I'll be loading the car up with Wes and Ken, and it's gonna go a little slower. But still, it's hellish to drive. It's a blast, and I'm gonna drive it for a few more days. It's all about having fun, people. So far, everyone that's gotten in this car has a big smile on their face after we go piddling around. And it's pretty weird going from the big truck I have, the Nissan Titan XD, down to this little tiny car. But I'll tell you, I'd rather have a bunch of these than that big fat truck. Okay, that's about it. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Uh, vlog not too diverse today, but we did have a bit of fun hanging out with Isla. Those guys are going on an epic road trip, a big road trip. Godzilla is gonna be ending in the next two weeks, and then they're gonna drive back from Atlanta, but they're gonna be taking a circuitous route pretty much all over the place. They're gonna be hitting probably 12 or 13 states. When they get back, we're gonna have a big party.